Well, I'm not surprised to have the New York Times uh, try and put uh, free enterprise on trial. Uh, I'm not surprised to have the Obama administration do that either. Uh, it's a little surprising from my colleagues on this stage. We, we understand that in the free economy, in the private sector, that, that sometimes investments don't work and you're not successful. It, it always pains you if you have to be in a situation of, of, of downsizing a business in order to try and make it more successful, turn it around, and try and grow it again. And I'm very proud of the fact that the two enterprises I led were quite successful and the Olympics was successful. And my business experience doesn't necessarily match up with being the commander in chief of this country. The commander in chief of this country isn't a CEO. It's someone who has to, has to lead. And it's also being the president is not a CEO. You can't direct you know, members of Congress and, and members of the Senate as to how you do things. You've got to lead and inspire. As they would say in China, Mitt, uh, he doesn't, he doesn't I I quite lost. understand this situation. <laughs> what he is calling for would lead to a trade war. It makes for easy talk and a nice applause line, but it's far different from the reality in the U.S.-China relationship. Uh, you slap on tariffs, you talk tough like that, of course you have, that's got to be part of it as well. But in the end, we get a tariff in return if we don't sit down and have a logical, sensible conversation. And who's that hurt most? It hurts the small businesses and the small exporters who are trying to get back on their feet in this country at a time when this nation can least afford a trade war. I've, I've said it. I've said it. Thank you. Thank you. I've said it before and I'll say it again. The last thing China wants is a trade war. We don't want one either. And we'll be but right. They, but, but they sell us this much stuff. We sell them this much stuff. Tell me who doesn't want the trade war?